update 1.2.3 is now live and it is the weekly reset and it is july 17th which means that it's my birthday what's up guys reckless here welcome to guardian watcher so it is the wonderful weekly reset however there are a couple things that's going on right now with update 1.2.3 that i think that you guys should know so like I said before, it is July 17th, and with the update comes the Solstice of Heroes seasonal event. Also, we do get 6v6 quick play, permanent rumble playlist, bounties, prestige for expansion 1 and 2 raid layers. PC gets a little bit of clan text chat. We also get year 1 moments of triumph for Destiny 2, as well as a lot of more stuff coming to exotics with the exotic armor sandbox and there's a lot of changes and I will put the full um, how do you say uh, updates on well pretty much in the description below so like I did say it is the wonderful weekly resets so we're gonna find out what we have we have the nightfall this week's nightfall is the inverted spire as for our weekly strikes Modifiers on this are Void Singe, Grounded, as well as Heavyweight. Then we have Leviathan, which you complete the Raid or Raid Lair. Call to Arms, which we win glory by participating in Crucible matches. Clan XP, which we earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, or World Activities. Then this week's Flashpoint is on IO. If you do the Heroic versions of these, you can get it done a lot faster. Then we have Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three of them. We already went over the modifiers. And then we have to choose a Faction. Once again, for the final faction rally of Season 3. So, we are at New Monarchy, and we are going to pledge our allegiance to New Monarchy this time around. And, spoiler alert, guess what? New Monarchy is going to win this wonderful faction rally. And it's all because of this wonderful Sweet Business Catalyst. Not because people want it. Is because people need it in order to finish all the catalysts for season three. So, let's go ahead and find out what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. Welcome to Eververse. Ah, so beautiful. Hey, we're missing something. Anyways, for our wonderful uh, bundles, we have the Discovery Bundle. That's pretty much what it comes in. And then we have the Destructive Research Bundle. And this comes with, ooh, the ornament, or an ornament for the Polaris Lance. And this kind of really doesn't matter. So, for the wonderful emotes, we have Popcorn first. It's pretty cool exotic. I wish that um, your mask actually came off to make it look like you're actually eating the popcorn. Instead of hitting yourself in the face with it. Just saying. Then we have applause. For our wonderful vehicle, we have the Azure Azazel. I actually just got this last week. From uh, the Prismatic uh, Matrix. And it's actually on my character kind of made it a little girlish you know a little pink and purple a little action going on there then for the armor of the week we have the wonderful class armors and for hunter it's obviously a cloak kind of looks like grandma's old uh sleeping bag just saying then we have the thunder god ornaments for the raiden flux I actually like it. it. Looks pretty cool. I don't think I have that one. I think I have the other one. Nope, I have it. Thunder God, yeah. And then we have the Carney, the Carney and Nebula. Oh my God, how much I waited for this thing. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm excited. I do not have it. I'm buying it. <laughs> I wanted this thing because you were only able to get it in this past um, little February, the, the event that they had back then. I totally forgot what it was, 
but has Crimson Doubles. There you go. Crimson Days. There you go. <laughs> Crimson Days. That was the only time you were able to get it, and now I got it, and I'm happy. <laughs> then we have the Go About Your Business for the Sweet Business. This is what that looks like. I apologize. The Carnia Nebula. That thing looks effing amazing. Oh my god. I'm glad I have it now. Then we have the Silver Bullet for the Crimson. And then we have the Red Dwarf for the Sunshot. As for our Transmat effect, we have the Dominus Gall effect, which unfortunately... Oh, we can preview it now. Awesome! That is crazy. Go ahead, preview that again. Now we can actually preview transmat effects. Thank you, update 1.2.3. Then we have arc effects. We can do that again. As for our shaders, we have Midnight Talons, Tarnished Copper, Arctic Pearl, as well as Nebula Rose. And last but not least, we do have your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, of the Crucible, and your Fire Team Medallions. And I do not know what happened to the Prismatic Matrix, but it's gone. Now, with update 1.2.3, you definitely want to go talk to Commander Zavala, as well as Lord Shax, because they do have bounties for us in order to do. So we have From Downtown, Show Them the Light, Into the Abyss, Up for Another, and then Fancy Shooting. And I am going to go ahead and grab all of these. Like I said, Lord Shax has them as well. So go ahead and grab them. We have uh, All in a Day's Work, Between the Eyes, Catch, Avenger, as well as Thunderstruck. I'm going to grab these as well. Nothing hold you back. And you can check these in your pursuits. Don't forget to visit Cade 6 in order to get these awesome, wonderful treasure maps that are on IO for 4800 Glimmer each. Yours, Go ahead and grab those now. I actually have enough most of light to the uh, most of light. <laughs> oh, Destiny 1. God, I miss it. I have enough Glimmer to actually grab them. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time. Yes, I am doing this backwards so you guys can see my awesome ornament on my Graviton Lance.